Sorry, I had the Lauren stream going. Hi. hi, Lauren. Is she there? She is here next to me. She has okay. just brought me food. Tasty yum. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yeah, it's it's good. Webcam settings. It's a turkey sandwich. Your, your webcam is centered on your goatee. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. For the stream, the beard needs to get trimmed in different ways. Yeah, yeah. You know how it goes. And even if Aaron laughs at me, it's, it's just the way it goes. Uh, ah, goatee's not so bad. I don't know. Someone said it looked like Gordon Freeman, so I was pleased. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A little I, sleazy, but totally socially acceptable. Sleazy? How is I, it sleazy? I've always thought goatees were kind of weird. It's sleazy? Lauren agrees with you. <laughs> yeah, I've well, tried goatees, and they never make it out of the bathroom beta sessions. Yeah, well, this is only until, only for the next 45 hours. Hmm. And then it goes away. All right, let me fix some shit on these overlays. Hmm. Did you read Chippendale's Neil Nathaniel fan fiction? No. It's oh, pretty God. bad. It's pretty bad. Oh, I used God. to be Chat's favorite bear, and then Nathaniel showed up and saved me. <laughs> they, my God, Chat had a love affair with Nathaniel from the moment they saw him. Yeah, I mean he's he's a handsome man. I didn't think he was that handsome. I didn't I know. Mean, I guess he's. I don't know. <laughs> he's like a Norse god. He's like a Norse god. It's like six three, blonde, bearded mane. I. <clears throat> I don't know. He's always Nathaniel. All right, I, I never chat. just thought of. Are you prepared to see everything that is broken about second edition? You want to break some characters, Ryan? <laughs> let's do it. And All let's right. show how OP the 46 rolling method is. Fucking 46, man. <laughs> There's some so other how... rolling methods in there that you're pretty broken too. Yeah. Where it's like you oh. uh, just assign. Yeah, so points, you... point buying. I mean, that's basically how 4E works. Yeah. And it, I mean, they basically just made broken the status quo. So if you aren't broken, you're dead. And then the stat splitting option, where you can, there's like, diff, there's like, strength has like, I don't even know, like power and endurance or whatever. And you just split it and make it all into power so you get damage bonuses and screw weight allowance. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So what are we, are we, am I DMing and you're making a character? Or are we both making characters? Let's are both we... make characters and you DM something that we All both right. play. Alright, we'll see what happens. Let me get dice and books and whatnot. No, we're not playing 4E. I was just talking shit on it. Yeah. We are playing 2nd Edition. Best Edition? I don't know, man. It's It's got a special place in my heart. But Best Edition? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 20 Strength Minotaur that dual wields no dachis. That is the Wait, plan. It, be I don't... it wouldn't be 20 Strength. If you get plus two strength and you roll an 18, you would start with 18. I guess if you roll 100, no. then it would go 19, 20. No, no, no. If no? you get, if you have bonus strength and you roll an 18, you just skip over the 18 slash whatevers. I'm pretty sure. If you're, yeah, if you're using goofy skills and powers races. Really? That ha yeah, yeah. There's no core races that have bonus strength, but... If you pick a race that has bonus strength, I think you just skip right over 18 slash whatevers. Because it jumped from 18 to 19. It's huge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's why there's no bonus strength races. 
Yeah. There's a lot of 3.5 fanboys out there. I think at some later date, it might be fun to try some Pathfinder. Yeah, I'm never done. But now is not the time. I've been reading through the rule books, and I do like it a lot. No. I've never actually played any, aside from, like, I play, like, Neverwinter Nights, which is basically third edition. But it's different if you don't have a DM other than your computer. So, let's both pull up character sheets and start rolling power characters. Min-max to the max. Character sheet. All right, done chewing. Woo. I still can't open Acrobat, so... <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yes. EXK4. I do like the simplified save systems of 3E in Pathfinder. For it reflects and will versus... BS that is second edition. And then I like the skill system. Proficiencies is kind of bogus. What? Really? I don't know what the skill system's like. It's but... the same as 4E, basically. But they introduced it back in third edition. Where it's just like a list of random skills, and you put points into them as you level. Oh, and as you level, like, they all go up. Yeah, like athletics oh. and intimidate and oh, diplomacy God, no, I hate and all that. that. I hate diplomacy and intimidate as skills. <laughs> they take all the role I playing out of it. The intimidate skill. No, yeah, it's broken. True. It yeah. takes all the role playing out of it. Sure, like but it gives you, you. I mean, not necessarily. I mean, you can keep the role playing in and use that as like a baseline. You know what I mean? I mean, just because when we played with, you know, with Justin, just because he didn't like to do the role-playing and just would rather have us do an Intimidate check. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that you can't still role-play. No. Yes, chat, we are just starting. So this is not dicing with death. This will be dicking around with death. We don't want to ruin any characters with Neil's sleep deprivation. So you we'll intentionally ruin characters. You mean we're going to create genius with the sleep deprivation? <laughs> True genius. Okay. Do you have dice? Let's just start rolling. I'm not going to put this on camera. I'm just going to shut it no, 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 I... We'll do on our system. Of course. I mean, the idea is to make things broken. So we are rolling 46, drop the lowest, and rearranging as we please. So 5, 5, 3 is 13. All right. 5, 5, five 6, 2 is I'll also grab some dice. So 13, 13, 6, 4, 2 is 12. Come on, 18s, where you at? Uh, nine, 5, 6, 11, 2 is another 13. 11, 11, ugh, this is depressingly average. There's a 15. 8 and 3 is 11, 11, 11, 11. This is the most boring character ever. 13. Especially the extra d6 really only shifts up the average by, I think it's like 12 and a half or something like that. There's a 15. Yeah, 7 plus 4 is 11. There's a 6? Jesus. You can keep and rolling there's a 17. Like characters if you want. 17 16, will do. 16. Nice, I got a 17 as well. 6, 6, 5. 11, 11, 13, 15, 6, 16. Screw it, I'm rerolling. Okay, I've got 13, 13, 12, 13, 15, 11, 17. That's not bad. I don't know if it'll be a super character, but... 4, 5, 6, again? Another 6? Seriously? 15. Uh, 12. A lot of 1s here. I think I might have to retire some of these dice. It's not going well for me. <laughs> Nine inches, twelve. Got the flappy bird. All right. I could make a. I just played a paladin yesterday, and it was kind of lame. 
You know, my dice don't go ba-ding, 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 ba-ding. So let's pull up skills and powers and see what sort of absurd just, characters we can get. I'm just so I'm, darling. Uh, Sorry, not you, not you, darling. Other darling. I think I'm going to finally put together the quadruple-wielding threekin. Quadruple-wielding threekin? Yeah. Is it time for that already? What do you mean already? Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, it's great. We've, we've theorycrafted it to hell and back, but never actually put together a character. Yeah, I think you should do it. And these aren't even that overwhelming of stats. I, I definitely so have to you're using crazy races from players' options, skills, and powers. A threekin is a humanoid, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, pring mantis with six limbs. Oh, I'm getting like crappy stats here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What the hell, man? My dice are cursed. I'm not supposed to be able to get anything other than 18s with 46. 18. I've got a 17. I don't think I need to roll again. 5d6, drop the two last. <laughs> the point I was trying to make is that. Um, there this 46 go. drop below us still winds up with pretty powerful characters. 14. Even if, even if the role play 14. staff tends to bitch. 14, 14, 15. There we go. Now we got something we can work with. <clears throat> Is a 15. 14, 14, 15, 15. We can get um, plus one dex, plus one wisdom. 15. I won't get 19 dex, but 18 will suit me pretty 15. well. 15. Oh. Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, 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 nine. <laughs> I'll keep that. Um, all right, let's take a look at what what sort of brokenness can I get with this? Now, Do you have an eighteen? No, my highest is I have four fifteens, two fourteens, and a nine. <laughs> He's a bard. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't get you regeneration or 20 strength. Hmm. There's nothing in here that does... The only plus twos are to strength and con. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of hoping there would be like a plus two wisdom or a plus two intelligence or something. There's nothing. Mm -mm. There's um, plus one to basically everything, but the twos are only strength and con. Minotaur and ogre. And gif. Gif. That's the hippo person. They're dumb. Mm -hmm. And a lay guy. Yeah. That's a yeti. I played one of them. <laughs> the best weapon in the world. A great scimitar. Hmm. Just play a character with 18 down the line. Hmm. Hmm. Right, we're going to try once more to get a slightly more broken character. Otherwise, we're just going to resort to these 15s. I'd like one outlandish stat. Just just one outlandish stat. New set of dice. Which roll one, 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 and five. <laughs> Some someone was out there for me today. Someone is not happy with me today. Where's the list of the abilities that races get? It is on page thirty nine. Um, it starts on PDF. page thirty seven. That's stupid. Is it um, is it the beginning? Okay, I found it's that. after humans. Three can have natural AC of five. Yeah. That's stupid. Plus 18 dex. My AC is going to be one unarmored. <laughs> Jesus. For those you of you... 18. That's the equivalent of 19 unarmored in the roleplay yeah, system. Which is coincidentally the exact same as Pathfinder. 
you just invented it on your own? Eh, it wasn't hard to invent. It just, well, hey, let's take this retarded system and make it less retarded. Oh my god. I mean, we've got to look at the history of it. It all evolved from Thacko. Yeah, but Thacko was... Who thought of... How many drugs were they on when they came up with Thacko? <laughs> Seriously, like, that's the most convoluted way you could... Po oh, 17. Thank the freaking lord. A 17. Everything else is shit, but I got a 17. 2, 4, 6. I have 5 natural attacks. 4 claws and a bite. Alright. We're taking our overpowered 14, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 9 and replacing him with a 7, 11, 10, 10, 11, 17, 9. <laughs> All right. So plus two, seventeen. You can get nineteen strength or nineteen con. Unfortunately, nineteen con does not give you regeneration. I would vote nineteen strength. Yeah. You can read about it if you want to see how to if it just goes to eighteen dash something. But I'm pretty sure it just skips right over it. See, Gif have AC. Allegra have natural AC four to start with. I picked a, a yeah, and Allegra have plus nine HP. Yeah, I think that I think they are the most OP strength race. If you don't mind forgetting the con, we may have a few cool BC FF and Z. What is that? FF is in human form. Okay, so three kin and a leg I cannot wear armor. That's why my AC is so good. Right. Z is your size large. Um, Which means you can wield a... You can dual wield Nodachis or Great Scimitars. Mm-hmm. Right, leap. Okay, these are my racial abilities. I can leap, um, jumping 30 feet forward or 10 feet into the air. Three can, no, okay, three can, can leap 50 feet or 20 feet into the air, but do not gain this ability until third level. Damn. That's still an absurd distance. Centaurs are considered size large. Oh, really? I did not realize that. I don't either. They can also charge. All right, T. Antennae. My antennae give me sensitivity to motion, lessen darkness-based combat penalties by one. Hmm. Hmm. You paralyzing bite. D L hard to surprise. Fifth level. M -N -O, tracking, paralyzing bite. Spell immunity. Fearlessness. Dodge missiles mm -hmm. at seventh level. Minotaur has plus two strength, plus two con. Be nineteen strength Minotaur. And W... You're going to quadra-wield Nodachis? I'm um, size medium. So I'll pro um, oh, so I can't afford four katanas at level one. But that would probably be the best. I'll think about it. Because I should choose something that I specialize in. Just go with four spears. They're cheap as shit. Are they? It's they silver. Drone. Yeah. At fifth level, three can automatically gain proficiency in the Chatka, a crystalline throwing wedge commonly used by the Mantis Warriors. At seventh level, proficiency in some three can throw arm, pull into a javelin, and a build disarm, respectively. But the 
Chachka returns to its owner if it misses the target. Okay, those are all stupid. Okay. Are we both playing fighters? Probably. So I'm going to do seven. I'm going to think I'm going to do a Minotaur with a 17 in strength, which brings it to a 19. Um, I will put 11 in calm, which brings it to 13. Bring the decks down to 10. Maybe I should, not that it matters. Maybe I should. There's no reason to have 15 strength. Right. So if we're min maxing, I might as well just make that fifteen con, right? Yeah. Or int if I want proficiencies. Yeah. What do you think? Probably the HP bonus, right? HP bonus is way better than proficiencies. Because you're a fighter. You. I mean, yeah. We're trying to make broken characters here. I need probably at least one bonus proficiency to min max the dual wielding, and it will soon be clear why they nerfed dual wielding in third edition. Decks, two missile attack, and four defense adjust. Nineteen decks would have been nice, but I can work with this. Can I quadruple wield shields and have like negative AC? I don't see why not. <laughs> it's not against the rules. I don't. It doesn't say anything about whether they accumulate or not. If it doesn't strictly forbid it, Tenth um, Amendment, man. If it doesn't <laughs> forbid it, it allows it. No, if it doesn't strictly forbid it, then it's up to the states to decide. I well, this state decides that it allows it. <laughs> Hmm. I need the combat and tactics. Alright, so Minotaurs are size large. Mm -hmm. Which means they can use size large weapons in one hand. If I dual wield, I can carry two of them. So what two size large weapons do I want to wield? Um, I think it's either Nodachi or two -handed Great Scimitar. Oh, really? Um, you can look at some of the others. Or dual wielding reach weapons is an interesting idea. Yeah. Well, two hand battle axe is actually only single weapon. Oh, it is H. Does require two hands regardless of the wearer's okay. side, which is unfortunate. There's a two handed sword is also an option. Surprisingly, claymore requires two hands to wield, but two handed sword doesn't. It's That's just a large true. weapon. Yep. Two handed sword D10 slash 3D6. Oh god, that's beautiful. Which one? D10 slash. Yeah. Uh, two handed sword. I think great scimitar is like. 2d6 slash 44. Yeah, I think it's the most damage. Aside from Nodachi with a Grand Master that deals d100. <laughs> um, I guess they didn't yeah, edit the rules carefully enough. A long spear, but that requires two hands. That's 2d6 against medium. Um, a two-handed... A katana used in two hands does 2d6 against medium. Um, yeah, that's it. So, Great right. Scimitar, really, that's that's OP as shit. Yep. What's the cost of a Great Scimitar? Does it matter? Yeah. What race are you? Minotaur? Minotaur? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to roll for HP. Come on, big money, no whammies. Oh, that's a 10. Nice. That was on sc on stream. So eleven HP, level one. Great scimitars are sixty gold, so that's, I might not be able to buy two of them. That's reasonable. So let's take a look at proficiency. So I have two weapon. F I guess I'll I'll roll for handedness just to be fair. So I'm right handed, so I will need to spend that point in ambidexterity. 
So we, this was the debate that I started last oh, night you, on one shot. Well, what you so, can do, though, is you can take the character uh, traits, and you can take a positive and then a negative trait, and you don't have to spend the extra weapon proficiency slot. Okay, I fuck traits. I Why? We're to... breaking the system. The whole point <laughs> is to break the system. All right, traits, traits, traits. I have to do some reading on traits. And what are the, you can have, like, a negative trait where it's just, like, you have a birthmark... Or some, we'll see what the traits are. It's like you're unlucky, or, you know, you have a fear of... Oh, yeah, well, yeah there's some things. weird phobias that are, like, not even issues. Mm -hmm. Hmm. How much does a Nodachi cost? Probably pretty expensive. Alright, so we'll fuss with ambidexterity at some point, but I'll be ambidextrous. Either through Nodachis are only 45 gold. Can I dump extra proficiencies to be quadridextrous? They don't explain that. They're how much gold? 45. I can get two of them. Fuck it. All right, he's dual building. All right. So weapon proficiency. Oh, wait, minotaurs also get a penalty of what to what? Minus two wisdom, minus two charisma. Who gives a shit? Most OP race ever. And you, you've got a charge or something. You can like charge two d six damage or something. Yeah. Um. Let's actually put the eleven. In perception. Okay, so we've theory crafted what happens if you have four arms and you're quadruple wielding, but let's let's decide on it now. Is it um, an Two, arithmetic four, six, penalty, a exponential, a geometric? So normally for dual wielding, it's minus two, minus four. Do extra limbs get you minus two, minus four, minus six, minus eight? Or is it minus 2, minus 4, minus 8, minus 16? Or is it minus 2, minus 2, minus, minus four. 4, minus 4? Because it could just be all the arms on your right side are at minus 2, and all the arms on your left side are at minus 4. Yeah, I don't know. Because you're right-handed, that it's, doesn't mean you're like, you're not top right-handed or bottom right-handed, are you? I have no idea. I don't have four arms. I mean, it's, there's no rules for it. It's a, yeah. I, I, th I think we always assumed it would be minus two, minus four, minus six, minus eight, or I actually minus think, two, minus four, minus eight, minus sixteen. I think it would be minus two for your primary hand, and all other hands would be minus four. Like you'd have a, a hand that you do shit with, and then you just have other hands that like help assist it. Minus two, minus minus two. Okay. With I mean, if it's primary. minus two, minus four, minus four, minus four, then I just don't get any penalties, and we beat the system. Because taking a two-weapon fighting would make it minus zero, minus two, minus two, minus two. And then my high dex offsets that by two. All right. Plus three to hit. Um, who's at zero bit who donated? Uh, we're using optional races from skills and powers. Shit, did someone donate something when I wasn't paying attention? Yeah, it was just like a dollar to ask that question. Oh, yeah. Skills and powers has a list of all sorts of like monstrous races. They're usually at the discretion of DM, so normally you wouldn't play a three kin in a yeah. standard campaign. But HC White Wolf <laughs> is dumping thirty forty five, which is beautiful nice. because it gets us to a nice round number at the end. None of this mm -hmm. like crappy pennies lying about. Just keep the round numbers, guys. There's no need to to toss in an extra twelve cents. You know, keep the twelve cents. Okay, so I need to pick which weapon I'm going to be specialized in. Weight allowance for 19 strength is 485, 640. 485 is the unencumbered? Unencumbered. Yeah. 16, 8, and Ben Bars is 50% chance to Ben Bars left gates. Now, that's before we stat split it. Mm 
-hmm. So the difference between I'm trying to characters from other classes that have scores of 18 in strength sub uh, abilities cannot have exceptional sub ability scores and do not roll percentiles for these sub abilities. Okay. It doesn't say. Maybe it's over here. Um, determine the sub. Simply double the score of the parent villain. Divide the total by the sub abilities. The scores of the two sub abilities must be within four points of each other. Only whole numbers are allowed. No ability can be lower than three. And with the exception of strength, no sub ability score can be higher than 18. Racial modifiers to ability scores are also exceptions to this rule. Okay, Triple so they have wielding to be, shields. They have to be within four points <laughs> of each other. Okay. <laughs> so 19. So we could do 17 slash 21. Stop making your character in the browser. I, I can't open up Acrobat. I literally can't open up so Acrobat. So you just have to leave the browser open the whole time? Yes. Uh, Kip says winky face with a tongue for 170. Oh, breaking the you guys are always trying to screw with me. Things Melmoth, you totally jinxed it. You literally forced me to do this to prevent the worst things from happening. A dollar 23, and then show baguette said ladies, and a dollar 69 because that's clearly how you get the ladies. So you just drop 69 jokes everywhere you can. I know, it worked for me. Worked for Ryan, too. What is that? That's how you got Aaron, just by making 69 jokes everywhere? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. More like she showed up and I tried to use the 69 jokes to fend her off. <laughs> and she, it didn't she, work. She captured me despite my... It's not very effective. Best ...test intentions. Okay, so stamina. All right, I'm going to have low stamina at 17, which means my weight allowance is only 85, not 485. And uh, then you can one have one like... from sliced bread, F Neil, all, all the way. And then my muscle is going to be 21, which is. Plus four to hit and plus nine to damage. <laughs> now, if I had managed to roll an actual 18, that would have gone up to plus four to hit, plus 10 to damage. That's still this. Yeah. So I wonder if I should, if it's worth me doing that to get 17 slash 13 instead of the plus one HP. Uh, max press is 800. So I can only really carry with me 85 pounds. However, I can lift up to 810 pounds if I need to. <laughs> and I can open doors check is 17. And if it's magically held, it's 12. And my Ben Bars chance is 70%. Yeah, you should uh, do that with your con too. Split Should I do it with my con or with my strength? Dude, all of them. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't think I have high enough for it to matter in anything. Oh, well, I mean, except if, for one. Yeah, I would do it with your con and your strength if you can do it with both of them. Because my okay. con's 13, so, can... so I'm going to split my con into 10 and, uh, I mean, 11 okay. and 15. Okay, I'll do that. And then I will do my strength to 17. Slash 13. So that gives me plus one, plus one. 75 system shock. Wait a zero poison save. However, 
Fitness at 15 gives me plus one. 90 from HC White Wolf. Hi, Mafia. How are you, Neil? You bastard. Thank you, yes, you bastard. Yes, you're to being Mafia or something? I, yeah, I have to admit to making being Mafia. I have to create a video of it and post it to Twitch, YouTube, and tweet it out. And I just haven't gotten around to it yet. You can deal with it after your marathon. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll do it sometime during the marathon. I just, whatever. I'm not looking forward to that one. 94, nothing, nothing. Okay. Intel, I'm going to split as well. So that way I can get more bonus proficiencies. Yeah. This is broken. Yeah, Intel's going to go 8 slash 12, which will give me how many bonus proficiencies? So I will Three. actually split my decks to 17, 19, because the missile attack adjust is the same between 17 and 18. Okay. 17, 19, so I got, that will improve my defense. Oh, that doesn't actually. Oh, it'll improve my reaction adjust. I don't even think it matters. Okay, none of those other things matter. Um, five charisma. Oh, charisma is. Oh, you can split it between leadership and appearance. I could drop my appearance down to three if I wanted with the <laughs> system. And just be an ugly motherfucker. Yeah, I think I won't, though. And I'm just going to leave it at five. 15, still gives me plus one. Int. So reason is just spell levels, and okay, I'll go ahead and do 14, 10. So 10, 5th, and it's A nodachi is spell knowledge. Dachi. That's close enough. Okay. So uh, my nodachi, I get plus two for specialization and plus nine. So plus one slash plus eleven. Uh, plus eleven to damage with my nodachi. Nice, nice. So d10 plus eleven or d20 plus eleven. Uh, range is melee. D10 slash D20. Size is large, I believe. Size is indeed large. Weight is 10 pounds. Type is S slash P. And speed of the Nodachi is... That's a ninja tope. Uh, 8. It's not that bad. So... Did you buff your HP? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I've still got the plus one HP, but I've now got plus one to attack and plus one to damage by stat splitting. Okay. And so what weapon do I want to use? Is a spear going to be better than, like, throwing axes? I think spear is probably the best, and then I can throw them and stab with them. And they're cheap as shit. Um, why would you need more than four? If you oh, you want two things in two-handed? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I have two and two weapon fighting, so they can use the same size. Right. Uh, two for my main weapon, and then ambit dexterity is meh. Who cares? Okay, somehow. Right. Yeah, the, it's in weapon specialization mastery. We can get talents. They cost character points. Which we aren't really using. Mm -hmm. But you can, and you can just give him a penalty elsewhere. So he's like arachnophobic or something stupid. Something stupid like that, yeah. Um, fighting styles. So if you have, if you, can you dual throw? Have you ever dealt with that? Like if you throw a dagger with each hand, or throw a spear. I've always each treated hand. it as like a dual wielding melee attack. Really? Yeah, minus two to hit with the first, minus four with the second. Okay, so I can throw all four spears at once. I don't see why not. <laughs> C 
six range HP. Mm. Mm. Okay, I don't think I need... Yeah, because you need two slots to specialize, then two slots to specialize in two-handed fighting style. You don't need anything else. Oh, no, yeah, because you can take ambidexterity for a single slot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess non weapon proficiencies, which who cares about? Uh, you might also want to grab the oh, Iron Will. It takes two slots, but characters with Iron Will have the unique ability to keep fighting even after being reduced to negative hit points. Mm -hmm. Each round the character wishes to remain unconscious. The remain conscious, he rolls a successful saving throw of his death with his negative hit point total as a modifier. That's pretty sweet. Hmm... Spears weigh five pounds. Okay, I'll just be naked so I don't have to wear any clothes. <laughs> and carry. Well, why all wouldn't my... you be? You you wouldn't carry clothes anyway. Yeah, it's you're my freaking three. Praying mantis stick hanging out. All four 45, of them. So that's I'll carry nine spears, and that's all. <laughs> well, then I can't carry any money. I can carry your money. <laughs> you can carry my extra spears, too. No, you can carry those. Um, I guess I have two extra slots, so why don't I learn... Are you doing proficiencies? Yeah. What other weapon proficiencies do I want? Just, you know, what? so I have them. You could also just grab a bunch of non-weapons. That's that true. I... That's true. I could get things like blind fighting. I have three, four, five non weapons. Um, Did you grab Iron Will? I was thinking about it, but my willpower is pretty low. You have to roll a willpower check. No, oh no, it's not a willpower below. check. It's a saving throw for death. Really? Yeah. I'll take it too. We'll see. So that's two? That's two slots, yeah. But I definitely want blind fighting. Really? Yeah, of course. I already get plus one to my blind fighting, which has a racial. Well, you're OP, so what do you expect? <laughs> so I'm wondering if it's even worth it. It's normally minus four. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, then you're going from minus four to minus three. I'm going from minus four to minus zero. When are we planning on fighting in the dark? We're just it's gonna about fight breaking the system, man. <laughs> about breaking it down, man. Oh, no, actually, it only reduces it by two. Sweet, I'll take blind fighting. <laughs> Is there a check or no? No. No. I guess I should probably take swimming or something, right? Or is that not breaking the system? Dancing, my high decks. Pottery. Rope use. Okay, I'm going to say 
The slashes in the character sheet refer to split stats. Uh, it's an optional rule in skills and powers. So that just means he's got like 17 endurance and 21 muscle or something like that. We should change from Counter-Strike to Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah. Um, blind fighting. Are we both blind fighters? Let's go of course. underground. Mm, rope use. I'll take rope use. Or do you want to? I've got rope okay. use. Um, fire building. Yeah, that's always a good one. And what's your perception? Uh, not very good. Like 18 or something. Or sorry, 12. Okay, mine's yeah, 11. I was going to go get direction sense, but... Wisdom. Oh, that's wisdom. Oh, you change it to perception? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to grab blind fighting, which is two. Rope usage is one. Fire building is one. Direction sense is one. And since I only use one of my language slots on ambidexterity, I can put the other two into normal proficiencies, which gives me all my proficiencies right there. Um, my normal melee adjust is going to be plus four to hit. My missile adjust is plus zero. Now here's the scary part. D10 plus 1 for HP. You want my HP? <laughs> no. Well, yes, I do, but... Oh, can only three. priests and wizards read? Yeah, otherwise... You it's get plus 9 one. as a minotaur, or plus 6 as a minotaur. To at HP? level 1. Yeah. Sweet. I think it's plus 6 at level 1. Never again, but... I guess I'll take swimming. Minotaur plus six to HP. Hell yes, AC natural is fourteen. Really nice. Yeah. Um. So I have a ten to HP, a level one, with a crap I have eleven one, with a roll of a three. <clears throat> <laughs> Didn't you split your con to get it higher? Uh, that's the split gets. I could have. Yeah, no. Why not? I switched the high. I switched the fifteen to strength, and then a thirteen to con, and then split them both, so I can get oh, I see what you're about. as well and keep the plus one to HP. Okay, so you had already split con. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think we've done all the important things. I guess I'll roll for money and see how much extra I have with nothing to spend it on. It's 5d6 as a fighter, right? 5d4. 5d4? Mm-hmm. But there's really, like, no equipment that I could ever need other than spears. Toilet paper. I guess so. I have little insect shits. Seven. Fourteen. Fuck! 18, that's like almost max. 180 gold. What am I going to do with all that? Share some of it with me. I spend nine of it on spears. <laughs> and then I have 180, 171 left. I have 11. Four, five. You can spend three. some of mine. I don't really care. Okay. Um, no doubt cheese are 45 each, so that's 90, which brings me down to 20 gold. Buy yourself some armor. Yeah. Can you? Do you have that Z? Or the FF? Sorry, it's in human form. Does it not matter? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. That's the wrong book. Minotaur is not FF. Okay. You can totally wear armor. Um, Nodachi X2. Uh, normally weighs 10 pounds. That's 20 pounds of equipment. And... Do you want, I've got saves up if you want to write them down with me. Oh, yeah. What are your saves? All right. 14, 11, sorry, 14, 16, 15, 17, 17. Nice. 14, 16, 15, 17, 17. So how do you do encumbrance if the base is 85 and the max press is 810? 
I think you do encumbrance based off of your lo based off of the endurance yeah. or whatever, mm -hmm. and then just if it ever comes up where you need to bust a max press, you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just so you count in your movement and your combat penalties based on your low encumbrance, Got and it. then if it's ever like I move the boulder, you can move the boulder, but you can't do it long term. Okay. Languages. Common, freaking health. Work. Do not have maybe I'll just post this character sheet on Reddit because I do not have a Twitch account. Alright, so no dog shoes. How much gold do you have left over? 170. Oh my god. I, I that's actually even rounding up. I didn't I paid a gold each for the spears. You paid half 171. Uh, do you want any of it? You can buy yourself Probably, armor yes. <laughs> What's your AC your AC is nineteen? Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's never going to go up, though, until we murder someone and steal their rings of protection. Oh, no. I naturally have 19 AC. <laughs> <laughs> Woe is me. I don't even have to carry any equipment to make it that way. Hey, I have nine spears. <laughs> um, this is death? No, this is dicing with stupidity. Um, it is, is it possible to get regen via stat splitting? If you rolled an 18 yes. and stat split it, and you, you had got two plus two yeah, con... Yeah, would have to ditch his high strength, which is more important. Well, I would have had to, Yeah, I would have had to roll an 18, though. I only rolled no. a 17. But you get your plus two. So you would have had 19 con, you could easily oh, you could stat split it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is not related to dicing with death, other than nope. it is me and Neil. Yep. How many rings can I... Yeah, can I have a ring on all four hands? Yep. <laughs> I don't see why not. Alright, so splint mail looks like the best for me. <laughs> Play modern D&D in a big city. It's called Dung Heaps and Drag Queens. <laughs> Where's 40 pounds? The RB. Alright. Um. What's some ridiculous weapon that he might have on hand just for, you know? What has the greatest damage output? That uh, says large. 3d6, 6 times 3 is 18. 3d6 against large is pretty beefy. Well, d20 against large is beefiest. Yeah, I think I'll be DMing, but... Or to chat. Sorry, not to you. Yeah. But... I don't think it will be DMing in the conventional sense. I think it will be turning to a page in the Monstrous Manual and saying, let's kill that. Let's kill that. And then you fight for it. Yeah. Yeah. Because in all, I have a hard time imagining a world in which a minotaur and a giant praying mantis can walk into a town and be taken seriously. Well, maybe we're bandits. Maybe yeah. we're not taken seriously. Maybe we impose our will and people cower before us and then we're chased out of town, forever shunned. But deep inside, we're compassionate and sensitive folk who really just want some friends 
mm -hmm. we can only find friendship in each other and it turns into a my little pony-esque adventure except we're <laughs> ugly and everyone hates us and we can only my find friends was pretty good actually i didn't roll anything lower than a 12 so i couldn't be ugly well you're a fucking freak of nature <laughs> <laughs> you may not be ugly but no one can relate to you you're a very personable threekin, but you are hideous. <laughs> yeah. So my character's name is Riza, R-Z-A. Neil's not going to get it, but someone in chat might. R-Z-I-A? R-Z-A. Riza? Is that not, that's not from Driza. No. No. Riza? No, I don't get it. You can Google it if you want. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't get it right away, I don't ever want to get it. I was trying to think what backup weapon I would need for my Nodachi. I can't think of anything. Oh, I could just get like a spear. Because I can throw that, and throwing weapons get your strength bonus. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. You won't throw spears as good as me. Actually, you'll probably throw spears better than me now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. Well, no, what's your missile adjust? Oh, you're right. Plus two. Yeah, I don't have any missile adjust. So does it stack? Thrown weapons get strength and dex bonus? I don't think it's strength bonus to damage. I don't know if they get strength bonus to hit. They might. Is there anywhere where it explains this? Oh. I think you get the bonus to hit from missile attack adjust and the bonus to damage. No, know. actually, I'm going to use darts, I think, as my missile weapon. Yeah. Because then that's D3 or D2 plus 9 three times per round. D3 plus 9? Yeah, there's. I think there's even like a little paragraph about the dart specialization in combat and tactics. Really? They don't really come to a conclusion. They're just like... DMs, how do you deal with a 20th level Dark Grandmaster? Ways to possibly nerf him. What, where is that? Uh, let me see. Under specialization? Yeah. Um. Weapon Master is hard to come by. So I don't get specialization bonus to damage with thrown missile weapons? No, because then it, you would be treating it as a specialized missile weapon. Okay. There's... Yeah, okay. But I still get the plus one to hit and the bonus attack. Where was that? I'm, there's certainly a little bit in here about how to deal with stupid characters. The only thing I see is um, it might be but the quest to become a higher Grandmaster could take years, unlike the previous levels of specialization, which can be simply selected as an, as, as an advancement to choice. High Mastery and Grand Mastery should require a great deal of time and personal sacrifice on the part of the character. It's not unreasonable to require the candidate to locate someone who can teach her and spend several months of the campaign time in training, possibly sitting out an adventure or two while she hones her skills. 
While the higher level Weapon of Masteries are a great goal for characters to set their eyes on, they can unbalance the game very quickly. Exercise tight control over the acquisition of Weapon Mastery in your campaign and make certain, certain that the players realize just how rare and special their Weapon Mastery characters really are. It doesn't specify darts, but... Now, they, there's somewhere where they specifically say... I'll find it in a second. So I'm pretty much done with the important aspects of my character. Hmm. Okay, so I'm actually going to drop my direction sense proficiency and give myself a dart. And I want plus zero, plus nine. Dizet, Ryan, best guest ever, rocks. D I Z I E T is what they're Dizet. saying. Dizet is the guy from Baldur's Gate and Forgotten Realms. Is that what you're Dizet talking about? Dizet The Drow? Yeah. That's not what you're Drizzet. talking about, is it? You, no. Yeah. No. What? Drizzit hmm. de Urin is the name of a drow guy. Yeah. E -C no. It's R-Z-A. R-Z-A, guys. Rizza. Uh, chat got it. Neil is just culturally uneducated. And also not looking at chat. And also culturally uneducated. Um... The range for darts. Two, four, eight yards, or two, four, eight square. Frick on a frick on a what? Two, four, eight squares. Squares. Damage is D3 slash D2. Size is small. Type is piercing. Weight is 0.5. All right. I'm going to throw in a specialty in missile or thrown weapons. Okay. Because that gives me, I can move half my rate and still fire at their full weight. Yeah. And I get a minus one to my AC. Against enemy missile weapons while firing at the ranged weapon. I don't understand that, but okay. Uh, Dizet, no, Dizet is a character from Ian M. Banks' novel Use of Weapons. Okay. D I Z I E T. Dizet. Okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 darts. Weighs 10 pounds, 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds, and I only wear a loincloth with, well, let's have a backpack and everything. So let's say clothes are five pounds. That's still only 75 pounds of equipment. Uh, which is under encumbrance. I literally have nothing but nine spears. That's all you carry? Well, otherwise I'm going to be encumbered. Alright, I can carry some of your shit for you. I, I mean, I what shit like, do I need? We'll just kill everyone and take their food. Sorrow Delect. Even numbers for the win. Oh, yes, even numbers for the win. Fucking yes, I love the even numbers. Even numbers are beautiful. Five five one four guys, which add two. Th no, I'm sorry, nine twenty three on top of that in order to figure out where we are in terms of leaderboard stuff. And in which case we're just ridiculously everything. Um, I just need to know how much all this shit costs. Splint is sixty. No are. Well, no, it says splint is sixty. Which are the damn darts? Uh, 
Okay, dart is half a gold. I have 21 of them, so that's 10 and a half gold plus the cost of the armor. Is it some? Is 80, so 60. So I need to borrow 75 or 7.5 gold from you. No, 70.5 gold from you. Sure. I have 71. Okay, I have 0.5 silver left. I have 100 GP. Or I have 5 silver left. <laughs> Somewhere where they were talking about this dark crap. Alright, I'm done. Alright, I'm too lazy to come up with quests, so why don't okay. we just... Why don't, don't we just... Fight just shit? Pull up roll 20 and see what we can kill. If you want, we can like be in an arena or something and just face creatures at our will. Or we can just roll around the world rolling up random encounters. You're the dungeon master. I guess. Alright, pulling up roll 20. Oops, that's not the right overlay. Um, could it, well, how much do Nodachis cost? I can't do quadruple wheel 45. Nodachis, but I could quadruple wheel katanas, but I don't think... I feel like those are expensive too, aren't they? I think katanas I are like 100. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. I don't know if they're that high, but they're expensive. Then I don't have throwing. Katanas are 100 GP. That's Which doesn't ridiculously make sense. expensive. Why are they twice as expensive as no duchies? Because they're better made than no duchies. No duchies are just really big fucking swords. Storyline or riot? Oh no. One sec, I'm going to see Lauren out. I bear in mind it's going pretty good. Chat's rioting, so it's hard to get any sort of reasonable feedback from you guys. Uh, second edition psionics are confusing, and we've never actually used them. I read them once, like, ten years ago, and tried to make a psionicist, and Neil was too lazy to read the rules, and he was dungeon master, so it never really went very far. So I had a psionicist, but he didn't understand the psionics, and the NPCs were psionic. Six dollars from Niklas for the second coming of Raekwon. Thank you, Niklas. The Dark Rules Combat and Tactics Chapter 7. Okay. Is that what that comment is about? Darts being stupid. Thank you for killing Solomon. He needed to die. <laughs> I didn't intend for him to die. He just, he rioted like you guys are. And went crazy. Learn your lessons from Solomon. Stop rioting.
Hi. Hi. We're on stream. Um, you can do whatever you want. This is broadcasting to the universe. Oh, you, you mean your face is off of? Yeah. I'm not allowed? Okay. Cool. Hmm? I'm cleaning out. What are you wearing, sir? Excuse me? Not you, Neil. It's like putting on a koala shirt to mourn the death of the koalas. That's gonna get hot soon. <laughs> it's a pretty badass shirt. <laughs> Why is it pink? Yo. Hey, hey, Neil. Koalas suck. I know. Wombats are way better. Wombats are retarded. I'm glad I've got headphones in and will kill you. Really? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> May I switch back? I'm up. Oh, Caitlin bailed, so I don't Kate. You want me to put on? Yeah, so I don't have the one-sided conversation. Okay. Um, there were a few donors you may want to thank. Oh, and thank Chad you. is rioting. You know what? They've been rioting for days now. It's basically their favorite Sorry, thing I didn't to do. Hear that? I'm switching to speakers. Let me know if you get any weird feedback. But Aaron doesn't like it when I talk to myself. No, no Chad no, has Chad been rioting for days. Yeah, they're That's rioting. Their thing. They, I said no story. They're, I'll make a story. Okay. So Nicholas. you can decide. If, what's that? Uh, Niklas, oh dude, there's a lot of feedback. Uh, says thanks for the second one, six dollars. Oh yeah, cool. Feedback's gone. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Does your character have a name? Uh, my character's name is going to be um. Hey Neil, and chat. Let me get the Skype. Wait, what? Koalas. Next four kilometers. Suck. No koalas. Wombats? Ah! Hey. <laughs> and then the wombat humps the koala's dead body. Like, this is like this is Counter-Strike Go that you've been playing all, all strange. Hey, hey, Aaron? <laughs> Aaron, Aaron. What? Wombats are the most retarded creature known to man. Cubic poop. Cubic poop. I don't know what this drawing... Oh, this is, this is the hobgoblin stuff? Okay. So what's your character's name? Uh, oh, I was in the middle of thinking of it when I was so rudely interrupted by your <laughs> <laughs> by your humping everything. Um, my character's name is going to be Gruff. Gruff, that's his name. My name is Gruff. Gruff. Okay. Oops. Minotaur, fighter, seven, four. I don't know how big three hundred are. Pounds. I should look that up. Rust red hair. Pitch black eyes. Um, neutral evil. He's just really self centered and self absorbed. He doesn't give a shit about anyone else. I think that's neutral evil. Um. All right, let's do this. Let's break the game. Yeah, we're breaking the game. So, what did you say your name was? Gruff. Gruff. 